Is there anyone else in the audience that would like to speak in opposition to this request? Thank you for the opportunity that you've given me to come and share my heart with you. Sir, if you could, could you give us your name and your Ronnie name? Hester's. I live in 2007 Spring Hill Drive. My wife and I have lived there for over 30 years. And uh, if you put the site plan up, I'd like to give you just a few things to think about. See those apartments there? My house is on the lower part of that site plan. My house, my property goes from the front to the back all the way. Our bedroom will be within the feet of these apartments. I understand that they're going to put up if they if the place if the this place is rezoned that they'll uh, put up a fence. But what good is that going to do you if it's a two-story building? That's one of my primary concerns. There's several other concerns is that the apartments have three bedrooms, five hundred dollars feet. There's nothing in the world to keep college students from moving in there. They're paying that and more for similar house, I would imagine. I would just ask you to consider this seriously as if it were your house next door to these apartments and you've lived there for 30 years. The privacy, our privacy will be gone if they build these apartments there. I can just imagine that two stories that even if you put up an eight foot, 15 foot, you can still see everything in our yard, in our backyard. That's that's my primary concern is we'll lose all we'll lose all privacy in our house. As far as the traffic is concerned, uh, it's going to increase the traffic. They already, now, they, they fly by our house. They fly by our house. It's going to add to it. Now, I've never known apartments, I call them apartments because that's really what they are. They're rental apartments. In fact, I've never known apartments to increase the property values of any residential area whatsoever. That's basically what I wanted to say. I just hope you'll consider that. To me, to our families, to the families that live there, but for decades and decades. It's really not about profit. It's a moral issue. It's what it really falls down to. It's a moral issue. And I do hope that you would consider that as you not recommend it, would not recommend changing the zoning. We've lived there a long time. We've enjoyed living there. We get along, our neighbors get along real good. While it's changing, everything's changed, changing. We all change. But just consider what I said and I believe you'll make the right decision. Are there any questions for the uh, speaker from the commissioners? All right, there being none, is there anyone else in the audience that would like to speak in opposition to this request?
Vicki Thar. I live at 1915 Pine Cliff Drive, which is directly behind uh, OP. Those two properties right there, me and my neighbor have swimming pools in our backyards, and that is our main issue, is privacy. You have a, a two-story apartment building plus a garage in the back, which sounds to me like three stories. People hanging out on their balconies. We will have no more privacy. That is my main, main issue. <coughs> Besides what everybody else has said, the property values, the traffic, college students most likely will be leaving here, hanging out on their balconies. They talk about uh, a management company right there beside. Uh, I'd like to ask, is that just during the day or is there going to be somebody living there managing the property at night? Is that just a, a day? Well, there's a business there during the day. Um, the applicants can address who will manage the property after hours. So you have noise, <laughs> you know, parties. Wood Valley, Spring Hill's been here a long, long time. Good neighbors, safe, clean. I beg you not to rezone this property for apartments. All right. Are there any questions for the speaker from the commissioners? Thank you. We have time for one last um, request if there's anybody in the audience that would like to speak in opposition to this request. There being none, I will now close the public participation portion of this request. Discussion is now open amongst the commissioners. Mr. Chairman, can I ask a question to the developers of the property? Sure, Mr. Bailey. I, I, me, I'm just wondering, I just want to I was listening to the, the, the lady's last comments, and I just want to make sure that that the subject property where she's talking about her pools and stuff, is some of that foliage going to be left, some of the trees and stuff on that property line? That's the intention. And I think if you see the site plan, um, there are some trees that are designated on there. And I, I, you know, I think the applicant would be willing to go in there and add some vegetation to, um, yeah. to the extent feasible to, to, to maintain that buffer. Um, there is a fence there. You know, the property does slope down to the applicant's property, so it's two stories. The garage is the first story, the second story. So, you know, with that being said, it's, the other thing is it's 30 feet off. I mean, there's a 30 foot setback on the back there that's required by the code. So, we're talking about 30 feet. Um, and, and Jimmy can help me on this, but I don't think there's a window. That's the right. next question. Yeah, so, but I, I don't, is that correct? There's no window. No window on, was on the side of the gym? No. Any other discussion on the commissioners? Yes, you know, they were, they were speaking that it's just going to be, you know, for uh, older people, not college people. Uh, the, the problem I have with that is with the surrounding, with the building right in front, that it's going to be you're going to be facing every time you come out. I think that's going to be a deterrent to anyone, uh, an older couple or anyone like that to live there. Uh, I think it's it's going to uh, end up being, you know, three or four college students and they're sharing the rent. Uh, and there being, you know, a lot more traffic in there than what the, the book says. Uh, I went out and visited the site. It's a, a Beautifully, you know, landscaped area there with the homes around it. Uh, I just, you know, I, I said I, I like to protect every, the landowner's property, and I, I don't don't know how well this is protecting the landowners around it. That's my opinion. All right. Is there any other discussion amongst the commissioners? To bring none, I will entertain a motion. From the commissioners. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Wills. Um, I want to talk a little bit from uh, Mr. Hall said. I, I look at the uh, surrounding area and, and I understand it's a transition. It's 
supposed to be a transitional area, community activity center area. But uh, Wood Valley has been there for quite some time. And the residence in front has been there for a while. And uh, I'm inclined to agree with the statement that it's probably going to wind up being called the students in there. I don't know that for a fact. But um, I just can't see myself forcing somebody that's been there for a long time have somebody that's uh, right on top of them that might be partying in the middle of the night. Um, so therefore, I make a motion that we recommend denial of this request. All right, we have a motion from Mr. Willis. We have a second. A second by Mr. Hall. Is there any discussion on this motion? There being no discussion, all in favor, please indicate by raising your right hand. All opposed have the same right. We have a tie. Um, and I will vote um, in opposition to this request. So the request is uh, it's denied. So you're voting in favor of that motion. Right, I recommend denied. Which one do you do? I vote in favor of the motion for denial. So the final vote is five to four. Right.